So let's start. Okay, so my name is Jack. Okay, uh, you can call me TNT Sunrise or you can call me Jack. Uh, currently, I'm still uh, their top authors in TradingView. Okay, uh, but these two guys running very fast. I think they have a lot of analysis in the uh, uh, critical currency, right? So I think I'm going to add some like Bitcoins and that's this year as well. Okay, so uh, let's start. Okay, with uh, Euro Euro USD first. So if you are first time here, uh, just to be aware that I'm going to use a lot of uh, technical analysis and use a lot of uh, harmonic patterns, all right? But right, this webinar is supposed to give to my students, all right? But I think it's okay for everyone to come in to have a view that how I look at the market, right? All right, so this is a review of the last week's trade of the euro dollar which i published in trading view here if you see my patterns right so this is a guardian pattern right our entry zone is from 1.272 extension to 1.414 so that's why i said uh we our stop loss is above to 1.2130 and we can start to short euro at 1.2070 right okay so you can see what what happens now is after the non-farm payroll, okay, non-farm payroll push the euro up, and then it drops dramatically. Okay, hence we are already have a, like almost one hundred pips, right? So if you think one hundred pips is good enough for you to take some to take some profit, please go on, right? Raise your hands if you trade this euro, right? Just uh, reply me by one. Let, let me just see how many of you have already taken the short. <clears throat> Hi, Manu. A lot of, uh, oh, Julia, what? Okay, Julia, David. Cool. John, yeah. It's really good to see you guys back, all right? So 100 pips is a good, very, very good profit. So you can actually take our one third or half position, right? Because just be expected that the euro may have a pull pullback. Right, the pullback may probably goes into the neckline, right, which is a structure here about 1.20 even handle, right. I think this pullback is very very common to happen, right. And also you can think that after one top, second top, is it possible for the euro to give us a 2618 trade, right? Right, it is very possible for euro to push back to 0 0.618 then drops another wave. So we can wait, we can take some profit of, your, of our <coughs> shorting position from 1.2070, right? Because already earn, earn 100 pips. So take half or take one third, right? But keep some position, still keep some position. Don't, don't close them all, right? Wait for the price to pull back I right, pull back to 1.20, 1.2040. Okay, pull back to this zone, right? And you can start to short euro again. And then the euro will have an another wave of back down to 1.18 or 1.19. Because in the higher time frame, let's go to the daily chart, we can see that it is a very, very bearish signal of this reversing, okay? Because we see some bullish buyers are trapped, right? We do see some bullish buyers are trapped, right? And today, the euro just fall and closed, no, not say closed, but just break through this 1.2010, break through this important supporting line, okay? So if there's any opportunity we can find a pullback, it is very good for us to short it again, right? That's how we participate in a potential downtrend because the euro may pull back to here or even pull back to here or even to the gaps here, okay? Because the dollar is going to be strong this year. The Fed is still going to increase rate at least three times, right? So. The euro already raised about uh, 2,000 pips, almost, from 1.03 to 1.21, right? Yes, that is uh, 
1,700 pips. So it is possible for the euro to pull back in a very, very high time frame, which we, may, we can measure the Fibonacci ratio from here to the highest point. You can see that it is possible for the euro to at least, listen, at least go to 1.1008, which is the 618, right? And how do we catch this? I, I make a mark. How do we catch this strong move, bearish move? Right, we starting from the beginning, right? So the best trade, the best trade that is has the lowest risk but the highest reward is when the market is going to turn or at or about to turn when the market is at this level. So we are going to show the euro from the very high place all the way to here. That is a long-term view, right? This may, may carry the trade for almost maybe four months or five months, right? Or uh, yeah, if you if you use daily daily trade, you can use structural breakout. Yeah, that's true, because if you consider this is an inside bar, right? As I uh, in my tutorial, I have already teach you guys how to how to do uh, inside bar. Okay, you can go to the YouTube. And search for project if you don't remember where is uh, inside bar let me just uh, find it for you okay uh, should be in oh it's just too many <laughs> okay, let me just find this my week my list here yeah here in 2017 October 9th okay so it's this link if you if you don't remember how to how to trade inside bar you can watch for this our uh, tutorial of, of this uh, inside bar okay uh, so let me just uh, okay let me just uh, <coughs> send you guys the link here right so look in the chat. Our, for people who are in China, you need to find a VPN to log into YouTube, okay? So this is a link of the inside bar, okay? For Chinese uh, students, if you know, if you want to learn how to, how to uh, trade inside bar, you can go to harmonicasia.com, right? You go to training videos, you click this uh, QQ video, go to the albums, go to the this, okay, and inside bar is here, okay. For Chinese version, the inside bar is here, okay. I just show you all, all that, all, all, <coughs> show to you, okay, so that you know how to trade inside bars, okay. So let's go back to euro dollar, okay. Anyone agree that? This candle plus the second candle, this two are inside bar. Do you agree? If you agree, please uh, reply me by seven. Right? Why? Because this is a master candle, right? Master candle. Okay? The high and the low are, uh, you know, contain the second candle, right? The high is the highest, the lowest is lowest, right? The next candle is inside it. That's why it's called inside bar, right? So how do we trade inside bar is when the price break down the second candle's bottom, right here, 1.2020, okay? The moment it break it, like reach 1.2019 or 1.8, you trade it, you short it. Put your stop loss above the inside bars high, which is here, 1.2080, right? And now you already have all, almost 50 pips, okay? That is easy money, right? If you don't, if you didn't catch the trade of these uh, harmonic patterns, these uh, guardy patterns, if you don't catch, it's okay, but it still have an inside bar for you to enter the trade. If you don't, if you uh, didn't enter for both, it's still okay, so just wait for the price to pull back, pull back, okay, and short, okay? Just remember, 
our focus our focus will be shorting euro as long as euro cannot break to the non-farm payrolls high which is 1.21 Okay, as long as euro is below 1.21, we want to short it. Okay, and we want to short it all the way to a very, very low place. Okay, understand? All right, so let's look at the sterling as well. Sterling dollar, pretty much similar of euro, right? But the, uh, the face is uh, lagging, lagging of the euro because you can see that the euro has already fall, right? See here. Previously, both of them are, are ready, okay? Are going up, going up, okay? But we can see here, from last Friday, the euro drops, right? But the sterling didn't drop a lot. Sterling is still in range, okay? So chances that the sterling will fall after euro four, okay, is very high. So what we can do is we can, you, if you don't want to short euro, you can consider to short sterling because it also completes this uh, bad pattern here. Okay, this is a beautiful bad pattern. I think uh, it's going to work. It's going to work, right? Right, so we can short from 1.3585, stop loss above 1.3657, all right? This is your stop loss, okay? And that is your target, right? You can target very low because we, ha we have another bad pattern here for you to know that where the market is likely to go, right? This we call the harmonic uh, combination, right? The bearish harmonic pattern leads the price to the bullish one and then reversed again. All right? Yeah, already in. Very good. Okay. So that is for the sterling. Let's into look into the smaller time frame. We can see that yes, the supporting area is about about 1.35. The big resistance area is from 1.36 to 1.3580, as I said. Okay. And right now, I think it's okay for you to short sterling as at now if you don't enter the trade because you can see here these two beautiful bar tells you that you know the price has already broken the range and pulls back. Look at this one. Look at the candle here, right? Why there is a wick? Why there is a up shadow? The bulls try to push the price to the structure of the 1.3556. However, it failed, right? It failed. Now another attempt still failed. So you can short starting right now because using this broken range to help you to get the trade. And your stop loss should be above the previous high, above this one. Okay. Of course, you can rise a little bit, maybe above 1.36 the round number, right? That will be a stop loss. And your entry is now, right? Entry is now. It will easily give you a one to uh, three or one to four risk reward ratio because you can see here, if we hold the short all the way to 1.33 only, right? To this supporting structure, it will give you 1.3.73. If you, we short until 1.30, wow, 1.8. That is beautiful, okay? Yes, in one hour chart, yes, good to sell again, yeah. You can see because the bulls tried once, the bull tried twice, failed. Why? Because the high is getting lower, okay? The high is getting lower. How about the lows? Lows still equal lows. But the, what about the trend? Of course, the trend in the one hour chart is downtrend, right? It's strong move down and the post back cannot go up. So it was most likely will fall, right? So you can short. Anyway, let's check Aussie. Okay, Aussie, I think it's also a good time to short uh, because last Friday, I think someone asked me, uh, 
can we show an Aussie? I said, mm, not yet, right? Not yet. But after non farm payroll, we can short, right? Let's check. You can see here, after non farm payroll is here, this is non farm payroll data, right? And then the Aussie goes up, 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 up until 0 0.7874. And then a huge bet. What, what, what is, sir? What these are candlestick patterns, guys. Do you know what is this candlestick pattern? This two, the last two. Give me the name if you know that. Yes, it is a bearish engulfing. Yes, correct. Okay, a bearish engulfing candle and happen in an extremely high place is normally going to tell you this thing is going to reverse. Right, so a pullback happen, a pullback happen, but it cannot cannot go above the 0.7874 or above the new high. The bulls cannot create a new high anymore, and then you see you see the pullback, but fail to break new high, and then it just fall down very very fast. Okay, and right now it has already broken some uh, trend line, I think, right. The, this trend line has been broken, right? And now it's pulling back, right? Still, let's check the daily chart, all right? Daily chart, I think the OD is, uh, right, if we use this this week, right? Wow, it's perfect. It's perfect 0 0.618 touch, 0 0.7873, okay? So at this very important 0 0.618 level, and we see the daily candle like this, right? It's probably give you a sign that you can short, right? And all you need to do is put your stop loss above 0.7R9 if you are using a daily candle, or if you can, you can put your stop loss above the pink here. Uh, I will suggest you putting at least to 0.7887 above these two candles high, right? It will be safer, okay, to prevent the spiking. All right, so the Aussie is likely to fall until to 0.77. All right, I, I believe the Aussie is going to fall to this level, 0.77 level. So what it can do is can short because this is a strong rally, but all the way to 618 and turn, which tells you that this rally is a correction of the previous down wave. All right, the next thing is going to happen in the May forms are you know, uh, A, B, C, D pattern, okay? So that's why we want to short, okay? Because downside has a lot of a room. Uh, how about uh, Kiwi, yeah. Kiwi dollar, I think, uh, just like Euro, uh, Euro versus Sterling, because uh, Sterling uh, didn't drop a lot, but Euro starts to drop. So I think Kiwi and Aussies, a lot of times they will follow together okay let's just check how many times that uh, the kiwi dollar is uh, lagging to the aussie okay you see here okay our uh, this is uh, in the same phase here here okay you see, all these from here to here drops a lot. However, the Kiwi just, just dropped a little, didn't really break the new low. And then the Aussie just continue to move down. Then the Kiwi just lagging for one day and also break, break down, right? And now, the Aussie is in here. The Kiwi is in here, same place. And Aussie start to fall. So I think the Kiwi is starting to fall again. Okay, or uh, let's go to 30 minute, one hour chart. One hour chart, you see, still ranging, okay, ranging. But the non farm payroll data has pushed the Kiwi all the way to 0.7186. Okay, but after that, no, no one time that the bulls can overcome this place. Okay, so right now the Kiwi is range. Okay, but we can short high, we can set stop loss above 0 0.7190 or 0 0.72. Okay, just uh, above, I think above 72 would be good. 
Yeah. How about the gold? Okay, gold. Uh, gold, I think, is uh, is sideways right now. Okay, sideways. It's heading around one one three one four to one three two to this level. But if you look at the, my trading views uh, idea here, I said this zone is very very important for the gold. Okay. Uh, we we want to watch for the price action. Or we want to watch for a double top to short the gold if the gold cannot break through this storm. Okay, so because the downside room is is quite a lot, it's quite a lot, right? We can catch the short here. So let's go check the one hour chart. One hour chart, the gold is just like the kiwi, right? It goes up, and then it just. Uh, Stabilized at one three uh, one three thirty one twenty one to one three fourteen to this this within this range. It's in a narrow range, right? So you can have a one preparation for the short is after breaking one three one four, you want to short the pullback of the structure and all the way. Or another, you can wait for this. Uh, harmonic patterns here if you know how to trade harmonic patterns you know how to calculate the deep point All right, I can tell you that this is a garlic pattern this is garlic pattern right yeah so for garlic pattern are uh, your potential entry is about 1323 to 1324 about about this uh, this this zone, right? You enter from here to short, okay? Or you can wait for it break down the eight point pull back to short, right? The same thing. Okay, let's talk about oil. Okay, oil. I think wow, I think oil is quite good for us to take a short because I saw our ABCD patterns here. Oh, didn't really complete, didn't really complete. If they complete this ABCD pattern, I'm, I'm definitely going to short, but we can short the oil based on the price action here. This is a reversal, right? It is a reversal pattern here, okay? A doji or a pin bar here. So once the oil breaks down the pin bar's bottom, at 61.74, you should enter. You see here how many times it's retested. Okay, so this is give us a sign that a lot of a selling pressure from 61.74 to 62. Okay, so as long as the price is below this zone, we want to short oil. And your first target could be here, about 60.71. Uh, this is a breaking point, so it's probably going to retest it. All right. Okay, let's move on to Dollar Canadian, right? The Dollar Canadian, I think, uh, I just published in Trading View. I don't know whether you see this uh, chart. And I said, it's very, very great buying opportunity for Dollar Cap. Okay? Because it's a long term bearish channel break up and pulls back to 618, right? And I just published today. And when I publish here, uh, the price is uh, about 1.24, about like this. You can see it already breaks new high, right? So you can buy dollar Canadian right now, right now, okay? Stop loss are below 1.2250, right? all the way to aim for 1.29 and 1.33, okay? This is for the dollar can. And just now, uh, one of my students says, can we short Canada yen? Yes, we can. Let's short, let's short Canada yen. It is a beautiful bad pattern, All right? You can short Canada yen right now at 91. Okay, stop loss above 91.80, okay? And all the way, that is, will be a very, very nice trade for the Canadian yen, okay? Uh, and let's move on to uh, Bitcoin. Bitcoin, as I said, are uh, don't buy at a high. If you want to buy, you, you want to wait for the ABCD patterns to complete. So where is ABCD patterns? I think we have to update a little bit. 
right? So don't be surprised that Bitcoin may fall to 8,070 70 to fall to this level, okay? Well, if you want to short, uh, I think it's okay for you to short if, if the, the price pulls back, right? And I think uh, there's the ABC move, isn't it? You can see here, wow, beautiful ABCD patterns. All right, this is AB move, pulls back to completing the D point and here, okay, and the price fall, right? And it also goes to the daily 618 level and 1641416, right? So I think that coin is going to fall. Uh, I don't want to chase to buy at this door, I want to buy at low. Okay, because the thing just ready too crazy. The market becomes so volatile, right? So don't buy it here. You want to short, right? And you want to short or you want to buy the low. Uh, let's move on to SPX, okay? The SPX has, uh, I think last time when I said that we have two plans, plan A is break, uh, if the price break 2,592, 2588, we want to carry the plan A. And I said plan A, waiting for price to buy. Okay. <clears throat> you see here is the, 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 the really after breaking here, plan A happen, right? Pulls back to 2189, and then it just goes up. And now it's 2900. Sorry, 2740, right? You can see this is a very, very good tutorial of structure breaking out and retest trade, right? Break, break to 587, find a pullback to buy, all right? And all the way, you can see the, how much the price rallies, okay? But right now, I don't want to buy guys to buy because uh, this rally is, looks too, uh, too steep, right? No correction, no correction. The price just keeps going up. So we don't know when the big player is going to sell to take the profit, but it may happen at any time. And look at it here in four hour chart, there is a ping bar, there's inside bar here, right? This inside bar gives you some idea if it breaks up again, you can still buy. However, if it didn't break up, it breaks down. So what you can do is you can short S&P. You can consider short and we a stop loss above uh, 2750, two okay? And I think it is easy for you guys to catch a uh, one, to, one to two risk reward ratio. Okay, one to two will be about here, yeah. Well, here, about two seven one two seven seventeen. Okay, I think that the S and P may fall to two thousand ten to here. Okay, so if you think that this inside the bar is a reversal, you can consider to short, or you want to short the pullback of the six one eight, and the stop loss about two seven fifty, and aim two seven eleven or two seven fifteen, right? <coughs> So that is uh, my view of the whole market. Any, any other things you want to check, guys? Right now it's a Q&A session. Q&A session, well, it's uh, so good that I can talk to 80 people here. Yeah, just a race, I will answer some of them. The analysis points out that US dollar is strong and we should trade on its favor. So to avoid multiple exposure, which pair is better to trade or give you more pips? I think you can consider short Euro and short Kiwi. Uh, there's one, okay, I will teach you how to do this, right? You can just go to the Euro study. Tell me what is sir uh, Location or what is the uh, price level for the euro, euro sterling is uh, from the very low to very high, right? It, it's actually the euro sterling is at a high, high location. So 
if you know that the euro sterling is going to fall to here, let's say if the euro sterling is going to fall to here, means that means euro is weaker than sterling, right? So if if we want to buy the dollar, I think your question is answered, right? You don't want to short sterling, you want to short euro. Right? And let's look at the Kiwi dollar. The Kiwi dollar is also in a high place. However, the Kiwi is still going up. So that it didn't didn't reverse yet. However, you don't know when it's going to reverse. So if you have a stop loss here, about 0 0.7206, as long as the Kiwi didn't break this line, right? You can actually short Kiwi all the way. That is also very, very nice profit target, right? The only thing I don't want you to buy the dollar is dollar yen because I don't think dollar yen have this uh, strength to go up again to 114. Right, it is the dollar yen is in sideways. It's in sideways. Right, it may force down to one 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 zero or one one zero eight. Okay, and in a very very strong uh, selling zone is at here. If the dollar yen cannot break this zone, it just pulls back. Maybe pulls back to here to one zero seven. Okay. Uh, you don't need to see the watermark because you can see my left here. You can see here dollar yen, right? Sterling Aussie. Okay, let's move on to Sterling Aussie. Okay, Sterling Aussie, I think, are uh, it's actually a range session because it couldn't break 1.78, uh, 1.80. It didn't break up. It, neither it breaks down of this uh, this neckline here, so it's pretty much is a sideways within the range. However, it is in a near to the bottom of the range, right? If you think the sterling Aussie are uh, is stabilized above this place, you want to buy. I think it's okay because the sellers already tried once, sellers tried twice. But didn't fail to break down, and right now I think this candle, this pattern looks a reversal. Okay, so I think we can buy sterling or the. Uh, it probably going to retest one point seventy six. About this. This neckline here, right? Okay. Any other questions? If no more, uh, let's just end the session here. I will try my best to give you guys uh, one one webinar every week, and I will publish my recordings sir, uh, in in trading uh, in in YouTube, so that you guys you guys can have a uh, review. Okay, so just search for Project on YouTube, right? And for those who want to learn how to trade professionally, how to build up your own. Uh, Forex trading or future trading income systems, you can consider to take my course here because I teach everything that I used to analyze the market and also trade them, right? Don't be an analyst, but be a trader, right? All the work that you do before your trade is for the trade. If you're only guessing the market where it's going to be or where whether tomorrow is going to goes up or goes down you are just simply guessing the market that's that is pointless because you want to participate in the trend you want to participate in the market you have to set your trade plan right so plan your trade and trade your plan okay so my coursework will be here available here right you can uh, know my course information and you can contact me uh, from YouTube from trading view or from my website okay all right so thank you guys for coming uh, I think it's good to end the tutorial to that today so let's uh, just uh, keep our euro short right just keep the euro short I think give you a lot of uh, profit right right 
Okay. Thank you guys. Bye. Good night. Yeah, remember trade your plan, plan your trade. Okay, you want to go to my YouTube session to have more video, right? Yeah, just to, just to read all all of them because it will give you a great uh, uh, concept of how to trade, right? You can you can see I put so many I put so many videos here, okay. It's actually already last for one and a half year. Okay, before the non farm payroll to one six to one six May. Okay, yeah. I just also be surprised. Well, I have uh, done so many things for you guys. Right now, it's two one one eight. My first video is two one six May. I know it's 218. Right. Uh, it's a great companion to talk to you guys to give you my concepts or my ideas. Right. I hope you enjoyed it. Right. Thank you. Good night. Bye bye.